Educating Kenya's Girls. In the remote Kenyan village of Inusayan, there is a school where there was never one before, and over 150 girls are now getting an education. The woman who built the school was from this village, but she was also very different. She was courageous, determined, loyal, and optimistic. Her name is Kakenya Ntaya. Ntaya is the oldest of eight children in her family, belonging to Kenya's Maasai tribe. When Ntaya was young, her father worked in a distant city, and the family was extremely poor. They lived in a grass and mud hut that they shared with goats and sheep. They had no electricity. As the eldest, Ntaya helped to feed and care for the younger children. She carried water, gathered firewood, cooked meals, and worked in the field. Like all the girls in her village, she was supposed to follow tradition and learn the skills to be a good Maasai wife. At the age of five, Ntaya's father engaged her to a six-year-old neighbor. Her father expected her to marry at age thirteen, as was the custom. Ntaya's mother wasn't happy; she wanted more for her children, but there was little she could do to help them. She too had to follow tradition. However, Ntaya didn't feel the same way. She had a plan, and she was brave enough to make it work. Ntaya loved going to school. She made excellent grades and even dreamed of being a teacher herself one day. Few girls dared to have dreams like that. Even today, only 11% of girls from Ntaya's village continue their education past primary school. Instead, at age 13, a Maasai girl marries and begins to have children of her own. However, Ntaya didn't want to marry or go through the ceremonies for a girl of that age. With all the courage she could find in herself, she went to her father. She told him she would run away if she had to stop her education. She said she would do what he wanted if he let her finish high school. Her father agreed. Ntaya graduated from high school with top honors. After graduation, Ntaya decided she wanted to attend college, a university in the United States. By then, however. Her father was sick and in the hospital. All the family money went to his care, so there was no money for Ntaya. Ntaya had once been brave enough to go against tradition, her father, and the village leaders. Now she had to do it again. She was determined to follow her dreams. At first, the leaders were against Ntaya. They were angry with her for daring to do what even few boys dreamed about. She promised she would use her education to help the village. She promised to come back and build a school. One village leader saw her determination and agreed to help her. The village gave her money, and she also received a scholarship to Randolph-Macon Women's College in the United States. In 2004, Ntaya received her bachelor's degree. Later, she got a job at the United Nations. In 2011, she received her doctorate in education, all made possible by her courage and her will to succeed. Ntaya did not forget her promise to the village. Loyal to her people and her beliefs, she returned to Inusayan. In 2009, she opened the first primary school for girls in her village, the Kakenya Center for Excellence. The school has been a great success. There, the students have education and opportunities that Ntaya had to fight so hard for. Girls that were once forced to marry at thirteen are now dreaming of becoming doctors, lawyers, pilots, and businesswomen. Ntaya knows that change comes slowly and is difficult, but she is optimistic about the future. As a girl, she had dreams and was confident that her dreams were possible. Today. She sees the positive changes in her students and their families. She believes that the future for the women of Kenya and of other countries too can change through education, one girl at a time. Ntaya is looking forward to building more schools, 
always hopeful, always determined.